Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 14, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Special announcement. Check out the 12 days of Christmas sale. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the unleashed full version. Get your favorite denarian, the sense of security he or she deserves for Christmas. It is worth its weight in gold. Get your copy today, before it is too late. Stay informed and stay alert. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Before we get started, I would like to let everyone know, due to YouTube's algorithms cracking down on channels lately, if for some reason this channel gets taken down you can still follow me on Facebook and Twitter, the links are both in the description below. I will see you there. I also post articles of interest throughout the day on both those platforms, some do not make it on here, due to censorship issues. With that out of the way, let's get started. First article of interest for today. Daraji calls on the government to send the budget to parliament immediately. The deputy of the Al Fatah Alliance, Mohammed Sahib Al Daraji, called on the government on Saturday to send the draft budget law 2020 to the parliament immediately. Daraji said in a tweet on his page on the social networking site Twitter and saw him information that, regardless of who will be prime minister, but the failure to present the budget bill so far shows the level of decline in the way the state is run and the absence of institutional status. Daraji added, the budget is not for the government, but rather for sustaining the daily life of people. I call on the caretaker government to send it immediately to Parliament. The spokesman for the media office of Prime Minister Saad al-Hadithi acknowledged, today, Saturday, that there is a problem that must be resolved in the survival of the state's draft general budget for 2020 with the government, calling for a legal way out to be sent to Parliament. Next article of interest. Abdul Mahdi's office calls for finding a legal way out in order to send the budget to Parliament. A spokesman for the Information Office of Prime Minister Saad al-Hadithi acknowledged, on Saturday, that there is a problem that must be resolved in keeping the draft state budget for 2020 for the government, calling for a legal way out to be sent to Parliament. Al-Hadithi said in a statement reported by the official newspaper al Sabah and seen by him the information, the government was keen to complete the draft budget and deliver it urgently to Parliament noting that the delay in it occurred when adding the financial allocations necessary to implement the decisions issued by the council. The ministers are responding to the demonstrators' demands. He added that the cabinet had issued decisions in this regard that required financial allocation, and the delay process occurred as a result of adding these financial allocations completely to implement all these decisions. He pointed out that when the budget was completed, the government turned to the conduct of daily matters, and therefore there is an aspect that must it is permissible. Does the current government send the draft budget without a legal obstacle? While if the matter is left to the next government, whose formation may be delayed, it may affect government spending paths during the coming period. Al-Hadithi continued, the tasks of the current caretaker government are continuous and continuous which they perform according to what is required by the duty set by the Constitution, with the exception of two powers that can no longer be exercised, which is the power to enact bills, conclude foreign agreements and treaties, while its powers are related to other issues as a government to discharge daily tasks. It is continuous and takes place regularly, and it is part of constitutional obligations that it cannot abandon, because as a result there are issues related to the functioning of the administrative, financial, economic and service aspects of the citizen. A spokesman for the Prime Minister's Information Office indicated that the current government continues its work until a new government is formed, which, when it grants confidence and votes to its members and its program, becomes constitutional with absolute powers and carries out its actions on this basis. Next article of interest. Al-Tamimi warns of a big problem if the budget is not passed within weeks. Member of Parliamentary Finance Committee Magda Al-Tamimi warned, on Saturday, of the delay in sending the general budget bill for the year 2020 to the House of Representatives, 
pointing out that a big problem will occur if the budget is not approved in the coming weeks. Tamimi said in a statement, Information, the next 2020 not to approve the budget year will repeat what happened in the 2014 budget, which did not acknowledge an at-cast on the exchange, noting that, the lack of adoption of the budget in the coming weeks, there will be a major problem in Iraq. She added that, the government is supposed to complete the budget and send it to the House of Representatives before announcing the caretaker government, noting that, according to the financial management law, the budget is sent on the date of 10 over 15 of each year to complete its approval on the specified date. The spokesman for the media office of Prime Minister Saad al had admitted earlier today, Saturday that there is a problem that must be resolved in the survival of the draft state budget for the year 2020 with the government, calling for a legal way out to be sent to Parliament. Next article of interest. Deputy. Three laws at the Parliament table after the completion of the election law. On Saturday, MP Ahmad al Kanani revealed three important laws that will be discussed by the House of Representatives soon, expected to be passed in conjunction with the popular movement. Kanani told Nawaz News that the parliament will soon end the electoral file once the election law is approved and its commissioners are named. He added, three laws will be worked on after that to legislate them, which are oil and gas, and infrastructure, the 2020 budget. He noted the importance of mobilizing the popular movement and pressing the demonstrations on the blocks in order to speed up the approval of these important laws. Next article of interest. Other, Sunni and Kurdish blocs imposed these conditions to agree to the next prime minister. On Saturday, the MP from the alliance of Riyadh al-Masudi revealed the conditions of the Sunni and Kurdish political blocs to accept the next prime minister, indicating that the most important conditions are a balance in government and security circles as well as granting financial concessions to the Kurdistan region. Al-Masudi said in a statement to the information that negotiations to form a government are still ongoing and it is very difficult because the character that will be agreed upon to head the government will be imposed severe political conditions on him before taking up the position. He added that the Sunni blocs imposed conditions on the next prime minister, which is not neglecting their entitlement in the Sunni ministries, as well as giving them a balance in the security ministries granting the liberated provinces broader powers. He explained that the Kurds also imposed preconditions on the blocs, namely that the next prime minister pledged to give the region a high budget, as well as to keep the oil sale agreement between the region and the center in addition to not neglecting all the constitutional, legal and political gains of the Kurds. Al-Masudi pointed out that the Prime Minister's acceptance of these preconditions while giving pledges to Shiite political blocs also will make the next government in a failed government without regard to the person who leads it. Next article of interest. Deputy in Al-Fatah, the next session will witness the passing of the election law by an absolute majority. On Saturday, the member of the Al-Fatah alliance, Fadl Jaber Al-Fatlawi, confirmed that the elections law will be passed in the next parliament session by an absolute majority. al Fatlawi said in a statement to Alma Aluma that the alliance of al Fatah and others are walking with wisdom with passing a paragraph of 100% in multiple constituencies in the electoral law, noting that this matter has been decided by the parliamentary majority. He added, the next session will witness the passing of the election law by an absolute majority during the next session, noting that the conservative blocs on the issue of multiple constituencies are a small percentage. The MP for the Al Fath Alliance, Muhammad Al Baldawi, stated in a statement to Alma Aluma yesterday, Friday, that some technical problems hinder the passage of the election law, indicating that the women's quota components and multiple constituencies need to be resolved before voting on the law in order to ensure that it does not contradict the Constitution. Next article of interest. Legal expert. The new Prime Minister will be announced within 72 hours and no one will object to it. Legal expert Eric Harb said, on Saturday, December 14, 2019, that the new Prime Minister will be announced within the next 72 hours. 
indicating that the President of the Republic will present this candidate without any symptoms from a political bloc or deputy. Harb said, in a post on his Facebook page, that within a period of no more than three days, the candidate for the new Prime Minister will be announced, as he will refer the President of the Republic to Parliament in order to nominate him an implementation of the provisions of the Constitution that mandated the largest bloc to nominate the Prime Minister. He added, it does not matter the nomination from one of the blocks only, as it is considered the largest block as long as no other block has declared that it is the largest block that opposes this nomination, since the Constitution did not specify the number of deputies of the largest parliamentary block as long as no more block opposes that it rejects the nomination as the largest block. This is what happened a year ago, as Adel Abdul Mahdi was nominated for Prime Minister and no deputy objected to this nomination, and no bloc said that it objected to the nomination or was it the largest bloc. The legal expert explained that the nomination of a candidate from the President of the Republic and the adoption of a parliamentary bloc to adopt this proposal and that he is a candidate for Prime Minister and not to object to another parliamentary bloc, and recalls that the number of its representatives is more. He pointed out that the President of the Republic has in his pocket this candidate who will be nominated by one of the blocs and who will not be opposed by any deputy or parliamentary bloc and take over the formation of the new government without parliamentary opposition, as was the case with Adel Abdul Mahdi, who was nominated by blocs that are not considered the largest, since the number of members is not more than half the members' parliament, but it was the largest reality, but its mass did not say that it was greater than it and no deputy opposed it. Harb warned that he will settle the issue of the candidate for Prime Minister by the President of the Republic, who will present it to one of the parliamentary blocs that will nominate him for Prime Minister, and not present any parliamentary bloc or deputy against him, and the coming hours will be decided. Political nights will give birth to every stranger. Next article of interest. New U.S. Retreat ready to lift sanctions on Iran and restore diplomatic ties. On Saturday, the U.S. Special Envoy to Iran, Brian Hook, confirmed that his country is ready to lift the sanctions it imposes on Iran and restore diplomatic relations with it, provided that its hostilities are stopped. He said Hook in remarks to the Al Jazeera, seen by information, ready to lift the sanctions on Iran and re-establish diplomatic relations if suspended their hostilities, adding that sanctions on Iran is not to punish but to ensure our national security. He added, it is possible to reach a better agreement with Tehran, expressing his hope that the exchange of prisoners with Iran will be a first step to release the rest of our prisoners. Next article of interest. Tehran reveals the aims of Rouhani's visit to Japan and describes it as important. The Iranian foreign ministry said that Japan made proposals to reduce tension between Iran and America, and that Tehran hopes that President Rouhani's next visit to Tokyo will make progress and achieve the desired results. On the basis of good intentions, Japan made proposals to reduce tension between Iran and America and we hope that during President Rouhani's upcoming visit to Tokyo, some measures will go forward in order to achieve the desired results, Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesman Abbas Musavi said during a press conference from Tabriz on Saturday. Stressing that Rouhani's visit to Japan is important, hoping that this visit will produce results. Musavi pointed out that Tehran is ready to exchange all prisoners with the United States, after America released the Iranian prisoner. Mr. Zarif presented a proposal to exchange prisoners between the Islamic Republic and the United States at once and the ball is now on the American court. On the other hand, Musavi added that Japan was one of the most important Iranian oil customers, but it stopped importing our oil after the imposition of U.S. sanctions, and this is unacceptable to us. Musavi added. The U.S. sanctions are a stark example of crimes against humanity and economic terrorism against Iran, and allegations that medicines and foodstuffs are excluded from the sanctions are a lie. The spokesman added that Washington imposed sanctions on the Central Bank of Iran with the aim of obstructing the import of drugs and drugs, and this is a crime against humanity, 
but the way to bring medicines into Iran is currently closed despite American allegations. With regard to the nuclear agreement, Musavi stressed that the nuclear agreement deals only with nuclear issues and Resolution 2231 does not prevent Tehran from conducting missile tests, noting that Tehran hopes the next British government to implement the minimum of its obligations in the nuclear agreement. On the other hand, Musavi stressed that Tehran was concerned about the new U.S. missile test recently. Independent candidates for prime minister and 150 parliamentary signatures rejecting party candidates. The MP from the Bayrak al Air bloc, Mohammed al Khalidi, on Saturday, December 14, 2019, revealed that 180 deputies support the nomination of an independent figure to head the new government, confirming sending, officially, 150 parliamentary signatures, to confirm this. Alka Alidi confirmed that they will submit to the President of the Republic the gives of three new names. Alka Alidi said, the number of deputies supporting the nomination of a Prime Minister acceptable to the demonstrators has reached 180, from the blocks of Barak al Air, the Union of Forces, the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, and the Coalition of Victory and Wisdom, he added. The number of signatories officially present on the nomination document has reached 150 signatures, noting that the document was handed over to Baram Saleh for approval. He continued, Muhammad Shia al-Sudani was formally rejected by the demonstrators, which means that he was formally rejected by the 150 deputies, noting that the President of the Republic informed the deputies that he supports the presentation of a figure who is acceptable to the demonstrators and is independent. The political blocs dispute the way to choose a new candidate to head the government, between those who call for deciding the choice by the demonstrators, while calling for political blocs to entrust the matter to the House of Representatives. Given that the protest yards do not represent all Iraqis. During the past few days, the center, the political, and the media circulated many personalities to assume the position of prime minister, without decisiveness, while the parties launched signals to express rejection or acceptance of this or that name. And the demonstrations seemed to confuse the parties and blocs, and lose confidence in their options and positions, to the extent that the constitutional and legal mechanisms for choosing the prime minister are marginalized, where the largest bloc in the House of Representatives decides the name and presents it to the President of the Republic, who in turn submits it to Parliament to give him confidence. The matter that readily observes that confusion and confusion, the master of the situation, and the blocs that seemed compelled to accept the resignation of Adel Abdul Mahdi, finds herself confused about it, as it seeks to choose an alternative to it, where differences escalate around the candidates and the multiple names are presented either to feel the pulse or deliberately burn. The lack of enthusiasm for political blocs and parties, to profess the desire for the position of prime minister, indicates political distrust, and its awareness that the balance of power tends a lot, beyond what it wishes, to find itself forced to not express its will and aspirations, in front of demonstrations that spoil the class the entire political the Iraqi Council of Representatives approved the request to resign the Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi and his government in the first of this month, to turn into a caretaker government. Next article of interest. Protesters respond to the candidacy of the Sudanese with songs and marches, tells Soleimani. It is the people who decide. Nightly demonstrations took place in several Iraqi provinces against what was reported as an agreement between political forces to nominate the leader of the Dawa party, Mohammed Shia al-Sudani, to succeed resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. Protesters confirmed their refusal to nominate the Sudanese, who held several ministerial positions in previous governments, to head the next government. Activists on social media circulated marches in the Tahrir Square in central Baghdad, Basra, Babel, and other areas against the candidacy of the Sudanese. And one of the activists read a statement in which he affirmed the categorical rejection by the people of any prime minister from choosing political parties, as the fact that their choices did not bring to the country nothing but destruction and chaos, 
noting that Iraq was not without those with competence and experience who are able to bear this responsibility. In Tahrir Square, protesters announced through loudspeakers their rejection of this nomination. In Babel, the demonstrators said al-Sudani is against specifications. In Basra, a march went out to confirm that his candidacy was invalid. Invalid. An Iraqi activist wrote in a tweet, You will not agree on a candidate for prime minister without the consent of the people, so tell your friend Soleimani this. It is up to the people to choose and who will be installed. Al-Sudani announced in his tweet on Friday his resignation from the Dawa party and from the State of Law Coalition, led by former Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki, and confirmed that he is not a candidate by any party. And before the President of the Republic Baram Saleh until December 17 to nominate a new Prime Minister, succeeding Abdul Mahdi, who resigned early this month, under the pressure of the Iraqi street. Next article of interest. The Women's Uprising Against the Walls of Liberation A wave of anti-government protests has swept through Baghdad and the southern provinces since last October. All groups of society and across all sects participated in these protests, but women played an unusual leadership role in a traditionally male-dominated society. The women embodied their demands on the walls of the liberation squares in the center of the capital, Baghdad, in addition to practicing medicine, preparing food, and providing first aid to the protesters. Like subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold and be sure to find me on my new Facebook page. Make sure you take advantage of the 12 days of Christmas sale before it's over and the price goes back up. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the full unleashed version. Lock in your deal today. The link is in the description below. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now. The Denarian.